Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. It's been a long time since I made a tutorial in After Effects, and a lot of you wanted to learn both Premiere Pro and After Effects. Your request is my command, and because of that, in this video I'm going to teach you in After Effects. In this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create realistic gun firing effect in your video in After Effects. This tutorial will have good insights and a lot of information about keyframes and tracking in After Effects, so be sure to check it. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Before we begin, I will show you the video we are going to work on. Here we have this soldiers shooting in their training exercise. We will create our gunfire effect for these soldiers to make them look super heavy. We will create a composition based on our stock video. Click on this new composition from footage and select our stock footage. Now place your indicator where you want to create your gunfire effect. We will create a gunfire for this soldier. Find the exact time where you want your fire to be in. That looks good. Now before we begin, I want you to know that these soldiers are moving constantly while shooting. Because of that we can't put our fire effect simply onto their gun. It won't move with the gun and it will be there for the entire time. For that we have to create a line of path for our gun fire to follow it, which will make it look realistic as it can get. To create that track path, go to this tracker panel. If you don't see this panel, go to windows and select tracker over here. Now go to tracker and in the motion source. Select our stock video or the video you want your effect to be in. After that right click on this empty place, go to new and select null. Here we now have our null layer. Null layer will work as a guide for other layers based on how you use it. In the tracker panel, click on this track motion to create a new tracker point. As you see we have a track type and a tracker point on our video. We will use this tracker point to create a trace for our gun fire to follow on it. Since we want our gun fire effect to at the nozzle of this soldier's gun. We will place this tracker at the nozzle. Place it perfectly at the nozzle point to get that accurate tracking path. Resize the tracker space to focus on the gun. Once you done go to tracker, if you have a good PC with decent specification, Click on this forward button in the analyze. It will track our gun nozzle automatically as it plays. It won't track perfectly always, just wait for the time when the tracker fall out of our gun nozzle. As you see our tracker point is moved out of gun nozzle. These type of mistakes happens and don't worry, I will show you how to fix that and how to avoid that. Select the video layer and press U you on your keyboard to bring the keyframes. These are all our tracker keyframes. Take the playhead and go to where our tracker falls out.
here from this frame our tracker point moved out of our gun focus. Highlight all the keyframes after that and press backspace to delete it. Now comes the hard part where we have to track the gun every single frame manually. Take the indicator where you want your next gun shot to be fired. Take the tracker and again place it on the gun nozzle. Go to tracker and this time we will use the manual step. Click on this forward frame icon, this will take us to our next frame. Now take the tracker pin and place it manually on the gun nozzle. Now click on the frame forward and again take the tracker pin and place it on the gun nozzle. This is a time consuming work, but the result will be far better than the automatic tracking method. Now select the next gun firing time and keep tracking the gun manually. Now we finish tracking our gun point and it's time to go to the next step. Go to this edit target in the tracker. Make sure that our null layer is selected. Click OK. We are going to place our all track keyframes onto our null layer. Now click on the apply to paste our tracking path onto our null layer. Here we have this dimension option. Make sure that X and Y is selected, click OK. We now have our tracking keyframes pasted onto our null layers. We don't need this keyframes on our video anymore, just click on the stopwatch icon to undo the tracks. Now place the playhead where your gun shot to be fired exactly. We will create our effect at this time frame. I will use the gun fire stock footage, wait till the end of our video and you can get to know where to get these gun fire stock footage. Here we have three different gun fire stock effects. We will drag these two onto our composition panel to import it. Now bring one stock effect onto our layer panel. Drag the video layer to where our playhead is. As you see we now have our gun fire effect and along with this black background with it. Our gun fire is in opposite direction. We will change it to match our gun point. Select the gun stock layer and press R on your keyboard to bring the rotation tool. Change the rotation to 180 degree. We will remove this black background in a second. Go to blend mode and change it to screen. And just like that we removed our black background and it looks super good. Now press S on your keyboard and decrease its size so it can match our gun nozzle. Place it perfectly. We have to make sure that our gun fire effect is right on the line of fire. Use the rotation tool by pressing R on your keyboard to match the angle our gun direction. You can hide the null layer if you want, it won't affect our work. We now placed it perfectly and it looks good. If I move the playhead, 
you can see that our gun fire is at the same place and it's not moving with our gun, that is exactly why we created our track points, by using our tracker keyframes we will make our gun fire to follow our gun nozzle, to make our fire effect to follow our gun track points, go to our stock layer, drag this spiral whip and place it on our null layer. By doing this we made our gun fire effect to follow our null layer, and since our null layer have our track keyframes it will be on the place perfectly. Once you parented your fire effect onto our null layer, don't use any position or rotation of the first layer, use the null layer's position, rotation and size to adjust our fire effect. If I move to next keyframe as you see our fire is moved a little, this type of mismatch sometimes happen but don't worry we can fix this in a moment, click on the null layer and use the null anchor point to place our effect perfectly. Since our soldiers moves the gun constantly, we have to change the direction of our effect as per the gun nozzle. Now that looks good, just keep moving and check for any changes in the gun firing line, then change it to match the direction of the gun. You can use the position of the null layer by pressing P on your keyboard, for size press S and for rotation press R to use it. Once you done, we will create our second fire effect right after the first. Place the playhead where you want and select our fire stock footage. Press Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate the fire stock layer. Now place it little to the right and make sure that our fire effect follows our gun nozzle. Again take the playhead and place it onto the next firing frame. Press Ctrl D to duplicate and place it on the gun point. Change the rotation and position of the null layer to match our gun point. Keep doing it until you satisfied with the fire shots. You can adjust the fire color to match the theme of your video. Go to effects panel and type in curves. Take it and place it on our fire layer. You can bring in some shadows and add some highlights to match our video layer. Now we finished creating our gun firing effect. Select all the layers and right click on it. Select Pre-Compose, click OK. To export this footage to get our final output, go to Composition and select, Add to Render Queue. We now have this render panel. Click on the Output module and change the format you want your video to be in. I will use this QuickTime format and click OK. Click on the render to get our output. Now our video is rendered, let's play it and see the final result. That looks super awesome. We now created that realistic gun firing effect on our video and it looks amazing. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. 
If you want this gunfire effect and gunfire sound effects along with project file, you can download this effects that I used in this tutorial by going to this pay hip link in the description. You will receive these amazing three different gunfire stock effects, and along with three gunfire sound effects. Not only that, you will also receive this stock footage along with this project file. All of this for just one dollar. You can use this project file to learn more about the effects and you can also use these gunfire video and sound effects in your video production. I will say it again, your support is what gives me the strength to make more amazing tutorials like this. Please keep supporting me. I hope you liked this video. We are finally at the end of our tutorial, I hope you enjoyed this video, you can always download all my project files on Patreon, link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this, please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section, I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this, hit the like button if you like this video, until our next tutorial stay happy, thank you.